Well, hello there to all of my Leos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy holidays. Happy full moon phase. Happy, happy, happy you, Leos. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. I'm going to give you the, moon for the, uh, the questions for the moon and Cancer. You and Cancers are the only signs that's not ruled by planets, right? So Cancer is the I feel sign. Cancer is the I feel sign. Um, fun fact, you all, your most likable trait is your exuberance. Their most likable trait is their loyalty, right? It's not about whether you think cancers are loyal, no more than they think you are exuberant. We're talking about um, just fun facts about that um, that ruling, that ruling luminary, right? Three planets are currently retrograde. Mercury, you're getting very clear messages coming through. Even though it's retrograde, you want to slow down and catch those messages through your dreams, your daydreams, night dreams, your feelings, your, your spiritual sight, your spiritual ears, all the clairs, all of those wonderful things. Let's get it. There it is. Everything is lining up for you perfectly. Um, as far as your money is concerned, time is money. And so sources saying everything is laid up for you perfectly. So two situations in particular that's keeping somebody outside their vault door. Two situations in particular where you feel like something has caused you some kind of emotional wounding. The key to emotional wounding is emotional healing of the very things you feel like are keeping you out of your vault door, right? Whatever it is you feel like is keeping you outside of your vault door because you're still connecting them to people, right? Somebody affected my money. Somebody affected my patience. Somebody affected my loyalty, when really what it is, is if you really pay attention to, um, here we have the goddess card. Source has been trying to tell you to cut ties with two situations. You Somebody's still holding on to something. And source keep trying to tell you it's driving somebody crazy. It's literally drying up somebody's creativity. And um, here we also have the princess of pentacles. So source is saying, get ready to open up your vault door. Again, the key is emotional healing. From whatever it is, that's how the enemy tricks people. The enemy wants you to think that it's people that's causing you the emotional wounding. When really it is, it's your lower, your lowest self, your own demons. Something in you that has, that source has been saying, release it, release it, release it, release it, right? Um, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been um, released from their shoulders. Something is going to feel like, you know what? I feel like a, it's no longer my responsibility. That's what this card is about. Once you remove two situations where you say that's no longer my responsibility, I need to move on. That's when you're now going to re make room for two blessings, major blessings to come across your path. And it can happen in any, er any area of your life. Let's say for instance, two blessings across your path is uh, you you want to meet a new and exuberant love and you want to raise at work. Those could have been the two major blessings that somebody was work, waiting on, but you could be holding on to something else. Maybe somebody did something to you 10, 15, 20 years ago. Maybe a cousin betrayed you, but somehow the family keeps telling you, well, family over everything. <laughs> you like, yeah, right. Well, how come they didn't get that memo, right? It's time to go ahead and release it. That's not my responsibility. I can always pick and choose when I go around this particular cousin or whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like looking at the car, something has been, could have affected somebody's money possibly in the workplace. And, but you got to look at everything else. This something should definitely be increasing somebody's prayer life. Okay. Source. What is it? Show me what it is. Show me me. If I'm not seeing it, show me me so I can release something. I need to release something so I can move beyond this. And get ready for an amazing life. Somebody does not realize. Somebody. Okay. <clears throat> Here's this right here. The hermit card. This is where you're learning directly from the master teacher. Um, this is where you're really going into. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart. This is where you go into that Virgo room. Virgo's most likable trait is their conscientiousness. Source is saying it's time for you with a fine tooth comb. Look at your own family life. Did you feel unprotected in your own family? Did you feel uncovered? Like, did you feel like you were very vulnerable in your own family? And somebody's like, okay, 
maybe this is where somebody has to really dig deep, right? And um, do you feel like it's harmony in your own family? So if you feel like there's disharmony in somebody else's family and it's just what, like a church family or a uh, somebody you were in a relationship with or whatever the case may be, source is saying, look, move on from something. Try your hardest to move on. Get in therapy. Whatever it is you feel like you need to do, but take the blindfolds off because here we go again, the eight of swords. And this lets me know that somebody, um, there was, you have, you've had Judas spirits in your life. So here we have eight and eight is 16, right? Plus two is 18. One and eight is nine. Nine is the death rebirth number. Everybody has had enough tower moments in 2023. Two and two is four, four and three is seven. Seven is the number where lightning insight for somebody to take the blindfolds off and recognize, okay, I need to stop talking about something. I need to stop entertaining conversations about it. And I need to close that door of negative thinking about it because it's creating a reality for me that's keeping me outside of my vault door. Because what Source is trying to get you to do is get on your throne of your emotions, both king and queen of emotions, water, right? And start focusing on things that keep you protected and happy. Um, it's a lot It's a lot of things that's going on here in your cards, Leos. Lots of things that's going on. But it really goes back to this right here. It could be goes back to... Um, Something that could have been passed down from your mom of maybe not, maybe your mom didn't feel protected and that could have been passed through that umbilical cord. And I'm not trying to trigger somebody, but something was definitely passed down where somebody didn't feel protected and maybe they feel like they didn't protect you in some way, shape, form or fashion. And so you may be overprotective, but whatever the situation is, sources saying, Sometimes we speak nightmares into existence because you just think the worst possible thing. And like, for instance, let me give somebody um, an example of what I was talking about. So um, this one street I used to live on, this is this intersection where people would always say somebody is going to get hit. Somebody is going to get, you would always hear the elders in the neighborhoods and somebody going to get hit. They're walking across that street. They need to put a stoplight up there. They need to put a stop sign. Somebody's going to get killed. Somebody's going to get hit. Enough people said it, and they state that vibration of sound throughout the universe. And guess what happened? The guy was walking across the street. He was drunk and got hit and literally knocked on top of a building. Our words, cre our words thoughts, and deeds create our reality. So sources say, if you're speaking things into existence where people are, you're like speaking fear, you know, that family is never going to accept you. That's something bad is going to happen. So on and so on and so forth. Doesn't mean that you have to walk around with blindfolds and be naive, but speak life into something. Okay. Source, thank you for giving me the answers. This is the vibration of sound because you're not trying to create uh, a, an environment for, let's say you have kids. You're not trying to create an environment for kids that they're so scared. They're too afraid to tell you anything, right? Your own inner child. Well, it's just like, okay, well, you know, they walk around with blindfolds on, you know? Um, and that's what I'm seeing. Like some transference of some kind of negative energy has been transferred over to you. And source is the one that's saying to you, that's what's blocking somebody's entryway into, and that's a portal. That vault door is a portal into a much better life into a much, much, much better life. Somebody has trust issues with people because you've been around a lot of manipulative energy. Could have been your friendship circle, could have been re really manipulative and you don't trust anybody. So if somebody comes across and they got clear water energy and they're like, I'm gonna make sure I protect you. I got you covered. I can see that you're around some uh, negative energy. You may not even trust them. You don't have to. They have to earn that, but trust source. And that's what source is trying to tell somebody. It's like, you know, Whatever the energies that source is trying to tell you to cut ties with, release it. That's not your responsibility. Remove, move on from it so that you can protect your own inner child. Even if you don't have kids, this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This is your inner child right here. So it says so that you can protect your own inner child. The source has been trying to get somebody to increase their prayer life. And I'm not talking about religion. We're talking about talking to source. 
release something and this because this is where it started this is where it started there it is number nine I am compassionate. Nine is the death rebirth number. Like I said before, something has been heavy on somebody's mind. So it's like take the blindfolds off, release something, release something, release something, right? Like I said, eight and eight is 16 plus two is 18. One and eight is nine, right? It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and you have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service in a very positive way though, because there's a dark side to number nine. The dark side is someone who is egotistical, tyrannical, and just resentful. And so source is saying, if you don't think that you're good enough and you landed on a dark side of the number nine, you in your mind, because you got on blindfolds, feel like you, you're justified in being resentful and angry and upset and people are, people are like, okay, well, you're a nice person, you're compassionate, but where's the compassion for being up on a high frequency? So anyway, so Source is saying to somebody, come on, Leos, it's the end of the year. 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 Show yourself some compassion. Show yourself some compassion. You are good enough. You're worthy, you know, and so it's time to cut some ties with something that somebody's just been... And if, if you still don't know what it is, this is connected to people that you love or let get close to your heart where your head and heart are at war with each other. So show me, help me to see it. Do the mirror work. This person right here is looking in the mirror. Do the mirror work because this is self-sabotage. You got two, it's two situations right here. Somebody's sabotaging themselves when it comes to two situations. So, all righty. Alrighty, I am always mindful and I live only within each moment I have. That's right. Be in the moment. Talk to source. What is it? Who is it? Did, are you asking me to let go of? What what is it that you let me what what are the emotions? What are the thoughts that you're letting me to go? What do you want me to bury so I can walk into my vault door and live the life I know I deserve? So that is what I have for you. I will see you all on. Freedom Friday. Here are the questions for the moon and cancer. First question is what makes you feel safe? Remember, we're talking about this. What makes you feel safe? Right? Where is your sanctuary, your place of peace and calm? Is it an inner state, a certain environment, or a specific place? The third question is do you know your female lineage, the story of your mother and grandmothers? The fourth question is how often do you gather strength from her land and her waters? And then last but not least is, do you have sufficient solo time filled with self-care? What are you doing to protect your energy? What are you doing to protect your energy? Because in your alone time, that could look like, somebody could look like they're spiritually dehydrated. And in that space of thinking, that is where source is di directly downloading information into your spirit about something. And uh, that is what I have for you. I will see you all on. I will see you all on Freedom Friday again. Happy holidays. Um, happy full moon. <laughs> and um, hopefully you're taking care of yourselves. That's what I have for you, Leos. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.